Towing grass. <laughs> right, but have a in the okay, there, so a bit of change of scenery today. <laughs> um, we are just in more and moving the cows uh, for the carnival because they park the cars up here where the cows are. So we're just going to walk them out the gate, down the road, across the road, and into their other field. Um, Becca has just gone up there in those trees. Becca has just gone in with Dad to bring them over. Granddad's up the other end to um, stop them going that way. And then hopefully when they come out, they will come down to me. Um, and then once we've moved them, we'll get back to the silaging. Okay. Good girls. Good girls. Okay. Steady. Steady. Come on, little grey. Oh, Good girl. Madeline. Good job, I got you, Red. You and Simmy and Maddie. Yeah. Gentle. 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 Might be busy now. Keep going, Red. Is he going to come across? You come across, Grandad. Hi, girls. Just, yeah, say, come look at me. Nope. Do you want me to come up inside the field? He's tied as well. Safe to say I've 
I've been put to work today. Uh, so we moved the cows, they moved really well as you saw. They were so well behaved. Um, so I've just got the rake on now on the silver. Um, I'm just heading up. I've got to go in the next field up from here where Dad's cutting. Uh, Becca's got the two little kids. Uh, one's gone to bed and the other baby is with Grandma. Uh, she's not due a feed now until lunch. So she should be content. So we're going to go see what we need to do and get on with the jobs. doubling up some of these roads are a bit lighter I am um, I've fixed all the piece around the trough that was all a bit um, skew with so I'm gonna start doubling up all these roads down here now so I have just finished the bits of raking that I was informed had to be done uh, dad is just cutting the next field um, so dad is currently three fields ahead um, the forager is just down below us. Um, as you can see, I don't know if that works. The grass has got a nice thickness to it. It looks like there's nice stuff in it. It might be a little bit thin here and there, but it hasn't exactly been a very great year for it. It's also really late for us to be doing this. Um, you know, when nearly, well, 23rd, we're getting towards the end of August now, so. Uh, that's quite late, <laughs> um, especially when you think this is kind of like our first proper cut. We would argue that sometimes our first cut goes to the sheep, but it looks nice. I'm gonna see if I can jump in with Dad now. As long as I don't get run over in the process.
So they're getting on fairly quick. They've um, already cut all of this field, or picked up even. I don't think there's anything on the corners. They've done. Well done! Looks like they've picked up all the corners that we raked out. All good. That is them! Look at that for a view, Kaylee. Yeah, we'll drive in. I wasn't sure if Christian was coming out. Because he, he's going to get the other trailer, but I wasn't sure where it was. Yes. Yeah, they're still picking it up, darling. Because they are. There's Kevin down there. Yeah, we'll catch Kevin up in a minute. This one's all cut ready. Should we see if Grandad's cut the other one? Yeah. Don't, because it will open the door. Oh yeah, look Kaylee. Grandad's got this one all cut as well. Grandad is in the other field. We'll go see him in a minute. It's just grass, darling. So when Grandad was cutting, he had to cut into a row and it was just a bit too much grass for the mower to take it. Because it was. So the pit is definitely looking a lot fuller now. Um, it is it is nearly lunchtime. It's just gone 12 o'clock. Hang on, pop it. Um, but it's definitely looking fuller now. They've nearly finished all the fields here on home farm. Um, up the top and everything, they're nearly done. Um, and so they'll be moving across to Corndon. Um, you waiting for me? So yeah, it's... <laughs> It is definitely getting flat on the top. Um, when I haven't got Kaylee with me, I will pop up and we'll have a nosy around about how it's all doing. But yeah, and this is the line. There's a line here in the grass. You can't quite see it. There's a, a divot here in the, in the concrete. There's a divot that runs all the way along there to like the edge of that door where there's the drain for the effluents. He's rolling the pit, Dylan. So yeah, so that'll be the front of the pit. We we keep back from that line, so obviously all the effluents can run into the tank. Um, and we'll have to see. We'll see um, 
how much more grass we get in, especially once we've done Corndon. Um, oh, Poppet, there's a tractor coming now. Back over here. Come on. Vroom, vroom, vroom. So um, we, will, we will try and pop over to Corndon in a bit and show you what's going on over there. <laughs> Wilfie's had to reverse all the way in the lane. Um, so yeah, we'll head over and show you what's going on in the field in a minute. Once Dad's finished cutting, I believe Dad's hitching up on a trailer too. Um, and they're gonna run two of them draying. It is definitely starting to look nice and full. It's got, it's out to three bays, and then at the, at that third bay there where you can just see that bit of light coming through, that's where the slope begins. So there's a nice bit all there covered. So we are up on the pit, as you can see, the back wall has now reached <laughs> the back wall has reached near the top of the sheets so shows we're getting on nice and high and you can see Philip coming up over <laughs> holding on hold on tight okie dokie you're not really holding on Good girl. So yeah, we start to drop away just after the third bay now. So still got a nice bit of space. We'll go down now. Do you want to go down? Okay. So they are moving fields at the minute. So everything's on pause here on the pit. So the girls have just come out with me. Yes, you can. Ha <laughs> ha 